It's a desert oasis, but in a matter of seconds, this area could look like a river. A river that can overflow into neighborhoods. It's something many people living in the Pinnacle Peak West area didn't know until the Flood Control District of Maricopa County made them aware. A lot of people simply they live in a desert and they've never seen the wash flow and they think that it's, it's dry and so they don't think there's a risk. Our focus of this project really was public outreach. The Flood Control District and its partners, Arizona State Land, Scottsdale and Phoenix, developed the Pinnacle Peak West Area Drainage Master Study. We wanted to update um, potentially the flood hazard maps, but definitely update um, just identifying the flood hazards and, and determining what the risks were for people based on current conditions. It's 95 square miles. It's located in North Phoenix, North Scottsdale, and then also includes part of unincorporated Maricopa County, as well as um, a little bit of the town of Carefree and Cave Creek. It's one of the most comprehensive studies of stormwater drainage and flood risk conducted by Maricopa County. We're standing in the bottom of Rawhide Wash, and this is the biggest flood hazard that was identified in the Area Drainage Master Study. The study identified 2,000 buildings in the area as having a potential risk of flood damage and one in five roadways having sections that could be extremely hazardous during a 100-year storm, which would be the equivalent of four to five inches of rain in 24 hours. When people start to start to visualize how much water that can be and the damage that it can do to a home, or to property, then they start to understand you know, what, what the issue is. The Flood Control District of Maricopa County was able to communicate with people living in this area about their flood risk through several outreach activities. Public meetings, educational events, HOA briefings, school district briefings, and meetings with property owners. Surveys were also conducted, online resource tools created, and a citizen advisory group was established. I think the meetings have been very important. First of all, because the Flood Control District explained the risk to people, illustrated the risk, uh, showed them how the amount of water that can flow through this wash is equal to, I believe they said, the Colorado River. We have a much better understanding of what the flood hazards are. In some cases, uh, we decided, based on public input, to redelineate floodplains that we felt were not accurately delineated on the flood insurance rate maps. I think that will be a great benefit to a lot of people in this area when FEMA approves it. Through the study, the Flood Control District also identified potential flood control measures. One of the, the key solutions for this study was to inform people of their flood hazards and risks and then educate people about things that they can do and take personal action to reduce their flood risks. They can change the grading around their house to make sure their water drains away from their home and consider purchasing flood insurance. What it does is reduces your financial risk due to flooding. The study team has also been looking into building natural looking structures that would keep stormwater flows within the wash. A public meeting is planned later in the year to seek community input.